Hey folks, so on today's episode, we are going to take a look at what we do with extra or leftover gear. Stay with me. What I do when I get extra gear, say from battle boxes or from my stocking or from birthdays or whatever, and it doesn't need to go on my truck kit or my bug in box or my bug out bag or my everyday carry. I have stuff left over. For instance, this bag came from a battle box. It's a medic bag. Um, and it's it's actually a pretty nice bag. Uh, and every so often, Battle Box has some pretty wicked good sales on stuff they have too much of. So um, for my birthday, my wife got me a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Now it's good to have, but instead of it just collecting dust someplace, I like to turn it into a kit. And I follow the five C's, right? So something that cuts, something that combusts, something that is a container, something that covers, and some type of cordage, right? So we'll just go through it, right? <clears throat> so here's my fire kit. It's just a simple, quick, fast fire kit, right? Inside the main compartment, I have just an inexpensive Mora knife, again, got at a very good price, very inexpensive, right? but super decent knife. Um, everybody kind of starts out with one of these, but these are great little field knives. I have an escape bivy, right? These are awesome little, you know, almost disposable, but really they're reusable thermal blankets that are really sleeping bags. These are fantastic. They don't take up any weight really, and they don't take up any space. I also put a 55 gallon 4 mil drum liner. These are great. You can turn them into ponchos. You can make browse beds out of them. You can collect things. Or even if you're just working on your car and you need something to lay down on the ground, these are fantastic. I then added some cordage. So I have um, a ridge line in here that I set up. And I also have a six foot chunk of paracord that I use for anything, hanging this bag up, bag up tying up a tripod, anything like that. Um, some people, by the way, call this six foot rope that has loops on either end. They call that a commando rope because of the British commandos that used to carry them in World War II. Very useful to have uh, already pre-knotted and melted piece of paracord that you can use to hang up your gear, tie up equipment around camp, whatever you need to do. On the other side, <clears throat> this is where I keep my container, right? So I upgraded um, some of my water purification stuff. And so in here I have a Nalergene canteen and a USGI cup with a lid, right? So I can cook in this, I can disinfect in this water, I can do whatever I need to do. Um, oh, also got a spork in here because you always got to have something to eat with. But these are really cheap and very fantastic. I recommend getting the all steel version, not the aluminum. Don't get anything made in China, get all American. And then lastly, I put an inexpensive sill nylon tarp on here. So without taking this dude all the way out, you can see that this is just a regular tarp. And then in conjunction with my hasty ridge line that I already have pre-knotted and ready to go, that's shelter right there. So I have all the basic five C's covered. Now, this is all from extra gear. This is not from my primary gear. This is not from my truck kit. This is not from my everyday carry. This is not from my bug in box. It's not from my bug out bag. It's not from my Boy Scout kit. It is extra. But now it's in a kit. So if I need to loan this out to someone, I can. If I need something extra, I can. Or Maybe I need to outfit another vehicle. Perhaps I need to help my children out or my mother or my sister. Whatever the case is, this kit's ready to go and I can literally grab it and go. Oh yes, and I almost forgot. There is plenty of room in here to add food. You could add Mountain House or Lifeboat Biscuits or whatever. There's also plenty of room in here to add a first aid kit. 
as well as your concealed carry would fit in here. This one, this top compartment right here, which has tons of organization, it has loops up here at the top. It has mesh pockets. This would make a fine first aid pouch. Down here, you could even get away with this being this little admin pouch. As you see here, you could make this into a decent little concealed carry pouch. So again, if you have extra gear laying around, don't just let it lay around and collect dust. Put it into a kit if you can. Additionally, if you have spare pouches like this radio pouch, you can attach it to Molly, right? If your pack has that. And this becomes an excellent pouch for a water bottle or perhaps it could be holding a saw. There's all kinds of things you can do with extra pouches. So if you get a good price on them or if you get them for gifts or whatever, you might have old gear laying around, reutilize it. Make a whole kit out of it. Also, I forgot to say that I had an extra Sawyer Mini laying around, right? This is kind of my backup. But again, instead of keeping it in the package and on the shelf in my workshop, I decided to put it in a kit so that in an emergency, right, I have a kit. Again, could loan this out. I could use it myself. I could add this to my bug out bag and have additional. It doesn't weigh that much and it's all together. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. But I just really wanted to emphasize what I do with that extra leftover miscellaneous gear. I put it into kits. I make kits out of everything. So I encourage you to do the same. First of all, if you make a kit, then you'll, you'll likely have everything you need to accomplish a given task. That's where I start. What task am I trying to accomplish? And then secondly, it's a good way to use that gear that you got laying around so it doesn't just collect dust. If you're not going to put it into a kit and utilize it in some way, why not sell it and get it out of your life? So, as always, if you like these type of videos, please do me a huge favor. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell icon so you get to see all of our videos. And, as always, be safe and be good.